Kalasirstate, thanks for watching Your Greek News. This week's episode is sponsored by Mega Cosmos Canada. I'm your host, Anastasia. On September 21, 2007, the Canadian government decided to recognize the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, or FIRM, as the Republic of Macedonia, a name that is historically Greek and identifies Hellenic civilization. Like any other international dispute, such as in Ireland, Iraq, or even in Canada with the Quebec problem, there are two sides to the story. While Greeks see this as hijacking history, for Firim, this is finally a chance for an identity. But is it their identity? It is to answer this question that thousands of Greeks from across Canada converged onto Parliament Hill on October 27th to raise awareness about this issue and ask the Canadian government to re-examine its recognition of Firim as the Republic of Macedonia. Crowds of Toronto Greeks gathered in the parking lot of St. John's Orthodox Church hours before even the sun had risen to embark on a journey to the nation's capital. 30 buses from Toronto, along with 50 from Montreal, all joined Greeks in Ottawa to stand as one to tell Prime Minister Stephen Harper Ohi with the same spirit and sense of identity that our forefathers embodied in October of 1940. With picket signs and flags in hand, protesters made their way to Parliament Hill to convince their head of state to repeal his decision to recognize Firim as Macedonia. Give his message to Canada. Zito in Macedonia. Zito in Elada. Zito Canada. The event was organized by the Canadian Hellenic Congress, along with the Greek communities of Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa, and showcased a number of political speakers who all voiced their concerns with their Prime Minister's decision. He is saying things about Macedonia without asking the Parliament of Canada who represents Canadians. The government has once again undermined Canada's position on the international stage as a voice of moderation. We're here today to object to Mr. Stephen Harper's single-handed decision to declare that Canada recognizes the Vardaskan government or territory as the Republic of Macedonia. And he didn't even wait to have the bill discussed or anything. But after speaking with George Bush, it seems, he got his directives and he was anxious to uh, put them into force. He waited for the Greek elections to uh, finish so that the Greek Conservative government would get in and then he didn't, wouldn't cause them any harm. And as soon as the election results were uh, declared, he then said that we were going to recognize the Republic of Macedonia. Totally unacceptable to us, so the community of Montreal in, accord, in association with the Greater Community of Toronto decided we'll do one of our usual demonstrations. We Canadians of Greek origin are very vocal and we won't accept being pushed around. Besides the fact that Greeks feel that Harper's position supports Firm's attempts to undermine 4,000 years of Hellenic history, the decision also flies in the face of the United Nations attempts to resolve the name issue democratically. We feel that, first of all, there are relations between Firm and Greece that are going on at this moment where they're trying to solve the, uh, the issue of the recognition of this Republic of, uh, former Republic of Yugoslavia. And it's, <clears throat> we don't believe it, it's in the, in the position of the Canadian government to put fuel into this negotiations. The moment uh, that it's proceeding properly, uh, there's a decision from the United Nations, and us as Canadian citizens, we're saying, listen, you know, Canada is always on the forefront of keeping peace and doing the right thing for uh, peaceful negotiations. Why are you putting fuel into the fire at this point? Even though demonstrations such as these can often turn from passionate to violent, the event concluded as a peaceful demonstration with many well-spoken and level-headed protesters in attendance. It was great to see all these uh, Greeks gather from all around Canada to this uh, demonstration against the decision of Mr. Harper to recognize a little country that has suddenly decided uh, to talk, uh, to consider itself Macedonia and use that name against all proof, historical proof, that, uh, you know, Alexander the Great did not speak Slav. There's a lot of uh, senior cit citizens and a lot of them with canes and a lot of them with uh, a lot of problems. But they're here and they're standing and it's three hours and I am amazed at their strength and fortitude, conviction. 
I am impressed. There is a lot of youth. People showed up. We uh, encouraged. Uh, there is people from schools, from athletic associations. So there was youth everywhere. If you uh, just took a look or pictures, you'll see uh, there was youth everywhere. It is very important because it is a feat in itself. It's uh, the joke with, uh, within the Greek community is that there's more chiefs than Indians. And uh, uh, I'm amazed and, and very happy that uh, uh, a level of organization was able to be achieved in order to uh, uh, produce the effect that we wanted today and, and, and all come forward today. There's no uh, figurehead uh, speaking for all of us today. Everybody came uh, and even though there are many people involved, we all spoke with one voice. While a highly visible and highly vocal protest is an excellent way to garner attention, Canada's Greek community is taking further measures to ensure its voice is heard. In addition to the, uh, today's effort, we have asked for a meeting with the Prime Minister and the Minister of Foreign Affairs as well, there's a petition uh, that is out there, and uh, our goal is to collect uh, 100,000 signatures. Uh, Hellenes and Phil Hellenes, friends of ours, and uh, we're well on our way, well on our way, uh, accomplishing that as well. Uh, we intend to uh, continue our efforts until we're successful. How, will, uh, how successful we'll be regarding this matter at the end of the day, uh, God only knows. But uh, uh, us uh, Greeks uh, uh, are known for uh, not selling our ethnic rights. Although the Greeks understand that Firm is searching for an identity, that region already has a name, Verdaska, and it has been known for centuries as Verdaska. So why is Firm demanding to be recognized as the only Macedonia? What's in that country's political agenda? Either way, many Greeks believe that history doesn't lie and encourage Harper and his government to take this into account before making any more rash decisions. As a Greek, I feel that every Greek that's born into this life has the responsibility to protect anything that's Greek throughout their lives. In 1940, our ancestors said no, ohi, to Italy. And right now, us as Greeks at this stage, in, in, in not in our lives, but in the existence of Greece and Hellenism, we have to say ohi and no to this decision taken by Mr. Harper. This is why we're here today. If you would like to have your voice heard, the Greek community of Toronto has organized a petition to send to Harper and encourages everyone who can to sign it. Go to greekcommunity.org for more information or click on the link below if you're watching this on yourgreeknews.com. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to join us next week. I'm Anastasia bringing you your weekly dose of Your Greek News.